Yo, what's up guys, Strats here, and I'm finally back with a new tutorial. I know it's been a long time, and I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but now I've got my Astro sorted, and ScreenFlow's actually working, um, I'm sure we can get back into things now. Um, so yeah, let's get started on this one. Um, I'm also sorry if there's any background noise, I have got my window open a bit, so if you do hear any background noise, um, I'm sure you'll put up with it. But uh, yeah, let's jump into Photoshop. Um, so, oh god. So we've got this uh, kind of effect here, which is on my new layout. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this, like top bar bit here, with the kind of like little indents in between the text, and showing you how to do the text also. Um, pretty simple, uh, but you get a nice outcome, and um, <clears throat> should be pretty easy to follow. So let's get started. Um, first things first, I'm going to take this color from here. So if you want to use the same color, then I'd recommend taking this code, 1E3D6A, if you want to make it pretty much the same. I'm getting a phone call, so I'm going to take this and I'll be back in a second. God knows what number that was, but someone was asking for Mr. Wong. That is not a lie. I got an unknown number, and they were asking for Mr. Wong. Hmm. Anyhow, <laughs> let's get back to this. So we've got our color. Um, now, now we've got that. We can delete this. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. And then also the text. I'm gonna keep the text on because there's no point getting rid of that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just hide it for now. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So you want to make a new layer behind your module tabs. Um, if you want to do this little layer effect here, all it really is is an inner shadow. Put that up to 50, just to make it even. Yeah, inner shadow, uh, 90 angle, distance to choke 21. I'll make that 20, and size 8. Um, that's on the inner shadow, and you've got the color overlay, which the color code is 1A3251, if you want to copy that. And then we've got the stroke, which is just a white outline um, with size 1, opacity 60, and blend mode is overlay, and position is outside. <coughs> okay. So we've got that. I'm going to go to the rounded rectangular tool. It should usually be on rectangular tool, but you want to select that one. My radius is already set to 10, and that's what we're going to be working with. And I'm going to bring rulers in um, just for the fact that I want it to be nice and I want it. I want the um, I want it to be the same size both sides. Uh, Make sure that's within the box. Yep, that should be fine. And then we're just going to take it, it looks fine like that. I'm just going to go from this corner here and just drag it down. If it hurries up, this is annoying. Well, uh, we're nearly there. And there we go. Got to make sure it goes to the bottom, so it doesn't look so it doesn't look weird or it cuts off or anything. Um, my uh, Photoshop's being a bit of a bitch at the moment. All right, back. Okay, this is just annoying me. It's being laggy. Anyway, we'll get rid of these rulers now. If if you don't know how to do rulers, um, all you have to do is Command R or Control R, I think it is. Uh, if not, you can go to Window and 
it should have rulers. No, it doesn't. Um, okay, then I'm not sure. But it should be command and R or just control and R. So uh, if I do that, it will get rid of them, as you can see here. Oh, look, it's in view. Okay, so if you go to view, mine's command and R. There you go. That helped. Um, anyway, back to the tutorial. Going to go into effects now on that layer that we just done. Um, not going to add a massive drop shadow, just add a bit of a spread and then a bit of size. And that will do. Go to your stroke. I'm going to make that a lot. In fact, yeah, that blue's fine there, just there. Copy that, copy that um, code there if you like. And OK. And now we're going to go to bevel. Uh, I'm not going to make the depth too much. I'm going to bring the size down a bit. I don't really have to describe the numbers because you can see what I'm doing. So all you have to do is copy what I'm putting. I pass it all the way up on the white and bring that down to about 25. In fact, I'll put it about 20. Make sure it's at 90 angle. And then all I'm going to do is go to screen and select overlay. Um, so that should be good. In fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to normal and select my own color. So I'm just going to select a bright, a bright um, blue color so it stands out quite a bit. Okay, <clears throat> so now I've got that little shining on the top. Now we want to add to that glowing sort of shine effect on the top. So we're going to add a layer over the top and mask it. And I've said this many times, but all you have to do to mask it is. Mm, I'll just do it again. Make the layer, hold down Alt, go in between the two layers that you want to mask, and then it will come up with that little sing symbol, indicate layer effects. No, that's that's that. Don't do that. And then bang, <laughs> just click. Um, now you want to select a. I'm going to select the same color as I've done for that, but I'm going to bring it down a bit because um, you can change your opacity on this anyway. Uh, so it should be all fine. Um going to go to a soft brush uh, if Photoshop lets me. Uh, it doesn't want to let me though. There we go. Well, that was funny. Um sitting here doing this tutorial. And someone decides to come around the back of my house and shout strats. Um, obviously, I knew the person, but that's not the point. Anyhow, um, we're going to move on. Uh, after them interruptions. Um, so make sure you've got your soft brush. I'm going to have mine at about 115 and it's going to be white. Uh, then, in fact, don't select white. Um, go to a light ish blue. It's going to go about there. I'm going to change the opacity after this probably. Uh, I'm going to bring it down a bit. Bring it to about 90 and then. Just line it across. I like getting this bit perfect, so bear with me. But just get it until you think that it looks nice. Uh, that would do for me. And then I'm going to just resize it a bit. And there we go. Now, if you don't like the color, then obviously it's a mask layer, so you can change your opacity and shit. Um, but I think mine looks okay. Um, now I'm going to merge that down. Okay, now I'm going to bring back up the text. I'll show you how to do the text first. All it is is a layer effect. Um, and you want to go to drop shadow, 100 opacity, 1 distance, spread 9, and size is 5. Angle at 90, and you should be good to go. Gradient uh, overlay would be 100% and then angle 90, scale 100 and then all you got to do is make this little um, gradient here. All it is is two whites at the top and then there's a dark grey straight next to the white and then a light grey at the end and you'll get this nice little glossy effect. Usually I'd make this more detailed if I was doing a gloss effect but because the text is small uh, you don't need much detail. Alright, 
Now, the last bit is just adding the little indents between the text, which is pretty simple. So just add a new layer, mask it again, and we're going to zoom in for this uh, just a bit. There we go. Right now you want to go to Marque Tool, regular Marque Tool, and then make sure you've got um, black selected. And then you're just going to make one line just across there under the text. And it's got to be one, just one, uh, basically one width, no, one length, and then just put it all the way along like that. Um, I'm not sure if that's one. Is it one? Yeah, I think that is one. It's hard to figure it out sometimes because it looks, it's deceiving. But if I bring it out to normal size, I can see if that's okay. Yep, that's fine. Um, so yeah, you want it to be one all the way along and you just want to fill that in with black. And then what you want to do is, uh, make sure you've still got that selected. I deselected mine, but that's fine. I can bring it back up. Um, so that's where I put the black line. I'm going to go down one. And I'm going to make that white. I might have just went, yep. I thought so. It's very hard to see where it actually is. Um, so that should be okay. Alright, so now I've got a white line underneath and a black line on top. And it's on the same layer. Now you want to go to normal and select overlay and then we're going to bring the opacity down to about 80 and that should be fine um, now what you want to do is do the same again but you want to do it like this one line like that all the way down I think that might be two so I'm just going to hold down alt and get rid of one of them lines and that should be fine alright now make sure you've got this nice if you really want to be specific and make sure it's perfect you can zoom in like this and it, you can see how how much the width is and all that stuff so I'm going to zoom back out and this is where all you need to do is fill and then move it along best way to move it along is to hold down your shift and move the arrow keys Pr that's pretty simple I'm sure you know that um, and it will skip along obviously if you want to do it gradually you just do it without the shift and then keep going if it's not accurate then I'm not that bothered because I'm sure you can make it accurate yourself and last one done okay so now we've got that little indent effect it's very very easy to do but it does look quite good from uh, actual pixels and um, when you zoomed in obviously it just looks like lines but because it's small it looks nice and detailed enough to have a nice look um, well that's pretty much it for the tutorial um, obviously the rest of it's just my background, uh, which is just paint, a paint sort of effect. Um, very simple. It is what I'm using for my background now. And uh, I just thought I'd put it up because it's uh, I like nice and clean layouts like like this. Um, but yeah, this is a nice effect. You can use it for YouTube layouts, web layouts, anything really. Um, and it will come in handy, hopefully. So um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed it and it helped you um, and give it a thumbs up favorite the video all that stuff and if you're not subscribed then please do um, thanks a lot my name's Strats hopefully I'll have more videos soon and I'll see you later